Hey everyone, this is JP. It's uh, Wednesday, May 12th, about 25 minutes to 5, and you can see you got some bees in a, between the uh, floor joists of a, a work trailer, and uh, I'm about to remove them. Let me give you all an idea what this thing looks like. Yeah, look like they've been here about maybe eh, three weeks, a month, maybe top. Well, as you can see, with pretty white combs in there. They've been here that long. Of course, I got an obstacle right here in this pipe, so this is going to be a fun one. Well, I'm up underneath this trailer now. And uh, I'm vacuumed a good bit of bees. You can see the combs now. Let me show you how the vacuum works. I went ahead and uh, took my little Walker T. Kelly. And uh, the vacuum hose that comes with it is one of the ridged ones. And uh, this one quite liking it. And uh, I switched over to a, let's see, I think it's a one and a quarter inch hose. You can see the hose right there. So anyway. See how it's working. Taking them off and uh, once we reduce them numbers, I'll go in there and start cutting them comb sections and transferring them to the box. Well, I've transferred uh, four uh, full frames worth of uh, brood comb, and uh, you can see we're putting dent in it. A really, really gentle bee. Folks, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. As you can see right here, the queen is on this little piece of uh, tarpaulin or whatever that was up underneath this trailer. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. I didn't put her there some kind of way. She must have been on the, probably she was on that last piece of comb that I transferred. I kind of bumped it because, as you can see, I have to, um, let me zoom back. I'm working up underneath this pipe. Now, what I'm doing literally is dropping a comb section, and then I have to drop it down underneath this pipe and then scoot up underneath the pipe. A little bit of a pain, but nice bees and nice arrangement. So anyway, I, I know I bumped that last piece of comb, and she must have dropped and then crawled right back up. All right, I lost it there. Okay, Let's zoom in a little bit. You'll see that they're grooming her. See her? She's a beauty, isn't she? Alright, so there she is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to catch her in my, and uh, go ahead and put her in the box. And then uh, that's all she wrote from there. And uh, right now I have, uh, excuse me, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, brood sections. Now these I'm using a deep right here, but to be honest with you, I really wish I had a medium today and kick myself because uh, these comb sections are tailor made for mediums. Let me show you one of them. I mean, they would just fit. They wouldn't, probably wouldn't quite fit, but they're pretty, pretty darn close. See? A good many of them are just like that. So, anyway, you can see them in there. There they are. Orient to the box, so we'll get that last little piece out, and we'll be done here. All right, folks. So this is the deal. We uh, got this cutout done in about uh, two and a half hours, and um, I got all the brood in the box. The queen's in the box. I didn't cage her because she's big, fat, and plump, and um, everybody's happy to be in there. And these are the remaining bees which ain't a whole bunch and they're orienting on the on the box and uh, uh, we probably about maybe 15 minutes before dark so I'll give them some more time 
All right, there we go. All right. This is that same removal. Uh, why is that May 12th? I just wanted to show you guys. I uh, just shook the bees that we had in the boxes. And you can see they kind of settling in. They, they got that white light from the camera on, so they may want to try to fly over there a little bit. But I'm just going to give you a quick peek. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and seal them up. You can see this is a bee that's full of bees. They'll be in the medium tomorrow for sure to these guys. Anyway, nice gentle colony. And uh, nice queen. Made bad honey, honey. All together, great removal. Talk to y'all later.